How are you? Don't get me. Get, don't get me. Mayor, question for you. Should you guys have a security officer telling people that sort of thing? This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... We use coins. Dot com. Okay, guys, Ridley Nation here. Last time I attempted to go into City Hall and film a uh, school board meeting, a security officer approached me and uh, told me I'm not allowed to film in here without the uh, city clerk's permission. So I'm back. There he is, actually. He's right down there. At the other end of the building, and he'll see if he approaches me and bothers me. Just going outside. And I'm going upstairs to Manchester School Board meeting. Now I have my full uniform on. Are you an alderman? I am. Uh, I've forgotten your name, I'm sorry. Jim Roy. Mr. Roy, uh, question for you. Uh, I was, uh, last time I was here at City Hall, I was going to film a school board meeting. One of your uh, security people told me I'm not allowed to film school board meetings unless I get permission. Is that appropriate for one of your security staff to be doing? I don't know the answer to that one. You wouldn't want them to do that, would you? I don't know what the, uh, the legal deal is. You don't know whether I'm allowed to record here or not? Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay. So, I've been here for about 15 minutes now. Uh, no botherances yet, even though I'm pretty sure that security guy that bothered me last time saw me come in this time with her camera, you know, running. So, I thought there was going to be a school board meeting here tonight, but it turns out it, there's a board of aldermen meeting for the city and no school board meeting tonight, so I must have had the date wrong. But right, that's okay, I have the same question for the aldermen. It's the same building. Are you an alderman? Hey, uh, question for you. Uh, last time I was here at City Hall, one of your security people approached me and said recording is not allowed in City Hall without permission from the clerk's office. Is that appropriate for one of your security people to be doing that? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. You don't know if it's appropriate to try and stop people from recording at City Hall? I have no idea. Really? Okay, I have to admit a little bit of respect here because uh, the mayor's office has a service bell you can ring if there's no one there to help you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, question for you. Sure. You're an alderman, right? I am. Um, one of your security people last time I was here told me I'm not allowed to record here unless I get permission from the city clerk's office. I guess I was applying that to everybody. Should you guys have a security guy running around telling people they can't record in City Hall? Who was the security guy? I couldn't get his name. He wouldn't tell me. I put a, I put a video up about it and I yeah. took well, a picture. It's, it's, yeah. it's not his call, but I would just, ask, I would just ask the city clerk uh, I would just ask the city clerk that you're going to be up here and can I record? Well, I, I won't ask the city clerk if I can record. Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, you want to be adversarial, that's, that's okay. I will, you know. Uh, I mean, is, I'd have a little diplomacy and I'd say. Are you sure that it's adversarial to just go ahead and exercise the First Amendment? Well, the way it sounds, if, if the, if the um, security guard is telling you you should ask the city clerk, then what's the harm in asking the city clerk? Well, it's asking the government permission to exercise freedom of the press. Yeah, but it's, it's adversarial. If, if, yes, you know, you look fine. At, it's look, an adversary okay. press. Well, that's, <laughs> you know? then, then what's the point? That's what I just told you. Yeah, you you're right. You're you right. right you kicked my butt. Personally, I would just be diplomatic and say, I'm going to be video. Well, you, Is you, there a problem? No, there isn't. You, Thank you. You owned me in this debate, Pat. Oh, Pat, I don't own you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Mayor, question for you. You guys have a security officer who approached me last time I was here and told me I have to have permission from the city clerk's office to record in the city hall. Should you guys have a security officer telling people that sort of thing? Did you check with the clerk's office? Am I supposed to? Yes, you are. Are you telling me that I will get in trouble if I continue recording without getting permission? 
at City Hall? That's going to be trouble, you know that. How are you? Don't get me. Get me. Don't get me, I say. Don't put me there. Now, what's going to happen if I were to record you? Am I going to get beat up, or what are you going to do to me? situation has gotten dangerous enough and I've got tape good enough that I'm going to beat another retreat. How are you? So my expectation of what was going to happen in there was not in concert with reality. I expected that what would probably happen was that I would get maybe just a tiny bit of pushback and that um, they would probably relent and, you know, they would bask around, you know, and someone would say, no, no, he can record here, right? They would say, he, you know, we can't make him get permission. Someone would have said that by now. I figured, or that the, maybe the security guy would already know it. You know, I figured maybe during the last uh, four months since the original uh, conversation took place about whether I had that right, uh, in that period of time, I figured that the security guy would have uh, probably bumped into somebody that told him the truth. Winston Churchill used to say that the French army, one of their main problems, especially at the Battle of Verdun, was that they um, did not know how to give. For instance, when a person um, throws a, a, a baseball at you and you've got the mitt, you catch the baseball, you don't just hold the mitt right there, you give a little bit. Uh, you retreat slightly when it's to your advantage tactically. Um, and so many, I think, liberty activists, when they get into a situation like that, um, will stand their ground uh, bravely. Uh, maybe they're braver than I am, but uh, they will lose their tape or they will uh, get arrested at a point in time where they're not really prepared for it. Uh, and they're alone. So uh, for me, the appropriate way to handle something like this is probably to, I guess I'll sort of fall back on larger forces, so to speak, and uh, uh, schedule a demonstration to happen at City Hall uh, at a time and place of our choosing, uh, where we can have relatively large numbers of people raising questions about what the mayor just did. Uh, and of course, that's another reason why it's important to protect that tape is because the, that's a potential career changer for Mayor Gatsis. Now, I'm not sure that that's what will happen, um, but it will certainly cost him a lot of support uh, in the uh, liberty community because some of us were, you know, lukewarm, we'd, we'd rather have him than the other guy type thing. This could really cost him that, um, and that's significant. I don't know what he was thinking, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. My best guess is that they'll probably go to the police and the city attorney and the district attorney and see if there's something they can do to me to hurt me. Um, I don't know what will come of it. I don't know if they'll be told, uh, yeah, yeah, that guy can record. At some point, you'd think someone in the bureaucracy would say, yeah, uh, we're supposed to be uh, allowing recording. <laughs> you know, it will be said sooner or later. But possibly after a hunt for Ridley. Bitcoins, the world's first practical internet cash. A nightmare for governments to try and control. Inflation and counterfeit resistant. They return you some control over your money. And a new measure of anonymity. A lot cheaper to use than PayPal. You can use them to buy tax-free cigarettes. And almost anything else. I accept Bitcoins. So can you. Get started at We Use Coins dot com